Dear teachers and viewers, Good afternoon. I am Richard Nathaniel Hanson. And I am Luisa Rasela. Live in Bandung. This is English Breaking News. The Chicago Public Library has more than just book for borrowing. It now has a fleet of 500 robots that can be checked out. The idea is to give Chicago residents of all ages a chance to experiment in the basics of computer coding. The gadgets known as Switch Robots were donated by Google Chicago. The Chicago Library is the first in the nation to have them available for people to take home. They can be coditable, make noises, lit up, and even draw. Some of the programming can be done by children as young as 8 years old. We hope to inspire the next generation of technologies and computer scientists, said Jim Lesinski, head of the Google Chicago office. Mayor Rob Emanuel said the partnership with Google will support the city's push to give residents better access to learning opportunities in the STEM fields of science, technology, engineering, and math. The robots were invented by a lab at Carnegie Mellon University. They are set up for use with more than a dozen of the most commonly used computer language. Users hook the robots up to their home computer or laptops and download instructional tutorials from the company's website. Getting students excited about computer science at the primary and secondary school level is critical. Lessons is said. That is news about Chicago Public Library. The next news will be read by Richard. Richard, what have you got today? Well, Lisa, I've got about the baby penguin robotic spy. Well, viewers, the newest tool for biologists is the baby penguin robotic spy. It's really cute and it is so convincing that penguin essentially talk to it as if it is a potential mate for the young chicks. Emperor penguins are shy. When researchers approach these penguins normally back away, their heart rate goes up. Let's not say this need when they want to check heart rate, health, and other penguin parameters. So international scientists and even filmmakers led by Yvonne Lemans created a remote control rubber. It's disguised as a tick to snuggle to shy penguin at the Leland Antarctica. That is where the 2005 documentary, March of the Penguin, was filmed. Researchers watch it from more than 650 feet away. The researchers try both five versions until they hit upon the right one. It's covered gray fur, it's for black arm, and has a black and white baby face and has a black beak. The penguins didn't scamper away and even sang to it with a very special song like a tribe the monks said. The monks suggested that the adult penguins were trying to find a mate for the young chicks, and they were listening for a response. But the researchers didn't program the rubber to make a song. There's a reason scientists want to use rubber, some, but not all. Researchers worry that the spy coming close to some shy animal, they change their behavior and contain the results of their studies, the monks said. The monks also use a rubber without any animal disguise to spy on the king penguins and animal seals. Those animals don't flee strangers. The king penguins attack the small rubber with their beaks, unless it stays still. But that's still low the device to get enough to get readings. The large numbering elephant seals didn't budge when the rubber zipped by and around them. Well, that is all for now. Thank, Thank you for watching. Have a 